What up YouTube, it's your man Sam back with another video. Today I wanna to talk about something that I get all the time in my comments. I get a lot of people saying, who's got the time for that? Who's got the money for that? And as you guys can see, the topic of today's video is, is it worth it? Can you afford, not, not financially, can you afford to take the time out? To be fair and frank, this takes at least for an experienced user like myself, it takes me an hour to go ahead and get it done, take it off, clean it, wash it, uh, clean my, you know, prepare my scalp and everything and just do it all over again. It used, it used to take me at least four hours because I was so meticulous with every little thing that there was. If, if a hair got messed up or if a hair got into the cracks and then if I didn't set it right. So it does take a lot of, and not, I don't want to say it does take a lot of willpower because if you don't have the patience for this, it will go every which way of wrong it's possible. So that's the topic that I want to talk about today because as I said, I do have a bunch of commenters, even though good or bad, I still take it as constructive criticism or, you know, if it's positive, then I'll react positively. And I try not to pay attention to the hate or the people that say, oh, that looks like shit. And oh, who's got the money? Oh, they send you free hair systems. That's why you push them. And that, no, that's not the way it is. And you guys, if you guys can tell I try and I don't really make money. I don't make anything doing this. To be honest with you, I just do it because I have problems and I wonder if, well, no, I don't want to say problems. I have uh, tribulations maybe, or just, just incidences where if something that I come across when I do my hair is wrong, I figure other people that are doing this go through that as well. And that's it. I try to just make it, you know, easiest and as uh, I, I guess try to look, I'm going to cut to the chase. I was bald since I was 16 years old. Now that really sucks coming up from 16 to shit. When did I get married? I got married in 2008. So 16 to 28, right? Before that, I mean, well, actually 16 to 28 is you got to go through your early teens. You got to go into your twenties. And then by my thirties, I was already not giving a shit who said what or whatever, but 16 to 28, that's that's quite a quite an impact that has on you being that you go from a confidence level that's zero all the way up to a hundred and that's why I wear it and I will continue to wear hair systems but I want to get to the topic at hand but before we do today's video is sponsored by La Vivid you guys can go ahead and use SHS15 for 15% off your order and you can use it as multiple times you want as even on accessories or whatever they have on their site back to what I was saying before the monetization kind of thing. I, I haven't, I don't see money from pushing you guys to use this company. The only reason why I push this company to, to you guys is because that's what I wear and that's what I believe looks best on me. And if you guys are pretty much anything like me and go through the same things, worry about the same things and yeah, it does get expensive and no, the company doesn't send me free hair systems just because I push them. That's not the reason why I do it. I do it because they are a little bit expensive, but it's worth it because you spend a certain amount of money. You want to get what you pay for with other companies. You get a hair system for, let's say 200 bucks. It'll last you two weeks. And in my opinion, I have reviewed other people on this channel on the hair systems that it didn't even last a month. So if you're going to spend 200 or $300 for a hair system, in my opinion, it should be of quality and the customer service should be phenomenal. So that's why I push a lot of it. It's not to do with any monetary gains or anything like that. They don't fucking pay me a hundred thousand dollars to push you guys. You have to have a certain, I'm not going to get into a business model. I get people back to the subject. I get people in the comments section. I think I said one time four hours. It used to take me four hours. Now, if you can't, you know, let's just say for hypotheticals, hypothetical reasons, you, it takes you anywhere from one to four hours. So let's get the medium one and a half, right? Let's do that two, two hours to do your hair. Can you guys, I know people from that are bald that want to get into this, that may be a turnoff. You may say, hey, I ain't got that kind of time. But then there's an option that you guys can go to people, uh, a salon that charges you 150 to $200 per visit just to take it off and redo it. 
them for them and they might they may not even do it right so from my first experience i have went to one salon in new york it was in astoria and they did a terrible job but i didn't know any better because that was the first time i've had a hair system on i think i spent 175 or 200 dollars for them to do this now granted they put you in a room in the back so you don't have to take off you know show your head and that's an embarrassing thing they put you in a room by yourself the dresser comes in they cut it i don't even know how they cut it i remember them cutting the sides were like a scissor. I, don't, I can't even think about it. So the hair wasn't that great. So they charge you all this money. And then when they put it on your head, they do a horrible job, but you won't know any better because you're just an amateur at this and you want to get to the point where I don't want to say me like I'm a God, but you could just do it yourself and you don't want to spend the money. So I save that money every month and every week that comes by, I just do it and I get better and better and better. From four hours, it went down to one hour, sometimes 45 minutes for me to take it off, clean it, wash it, uh, prepare my head and then put it back on again. Usually takes me 45 minutes to an hour. Six months ago, seven months ago, maybe even a year ago, it used to take me like three to four hours because I didn't want to mess it up. When I go out, I want to look the best I can. And I don't want to look like, hey, that guy's wearing a piece or hey, that guy's got a rug on his head or hey, that guy's got a wig. So that's not my aim here. I try to do it for myself because I, like I said, I've been without hair from 16 to 28. When I get hair, I'm like, holy shit, this is amazing. You can shower it, you can cut it, you can go to the, the barber, you can do everything you could have done while you had hair. So again, it may take you one to four hours, depending on your, your advanced, on your leveling. So people that are in the market for hair systems, number one, can you afford to spend that much time doing a hair system? Number two, it's gonna, it's costly. If you wanna have hair, it's gonna be at least $300 or however much money you're gonna spend for whichever hair system you guys want. Anywhere from 200 to $400 per system, right? Now that may be for every three, four months. Can you afford to do that every three to four months? Let's say $300 every two months. Let's $300 every three months, three, six, nine, 12. That's, that's $1,200 a year. Yeah, I did math on my hand, yeah, I don't give a shit. That's $1,200 a year. Can you afford to spend that money just for vanity? because this does nothing for you medically. This does nothing that's gonna increase your or lower your blood pressure. This is total vanity. So if you want it, can you do it? I thank God I'm in a position where I am and I can afford to do it. Not to say I'm rich and you're poor, no. I've been in a position where I can do what I wanna do being that I want my hair. So those two reasons, or number three, the third reason, you're gonna, if you go to a, Let's say you go to a salon for the first time. Are you going to want to walk in there with a hat and then show other people your head? Those things really burn sometimes. I was very, very worried about the fact that, you know, people are going to see me go in there bald. What are they going to think when I come out with hair? I was worried about everybody else's opinion. I've come to learn that you, the only people you need to make happy is yourself and your significant other. But my wife, she doesn't even give a shit. She just doesn't even notice it on my head anymore. I'm just like a normal thing to her. So it can get costly and it does take a lot of time. Now keep in mind, there's a third fact. If you guys plan on doing this or you guys wanna go into this hair system land, you're gonna to have to buy supplies. Let's just say hypothetically $1,200 a year. Then you got tape, glue, accessories, brushes, combs, all this stuff. So that's gonna add up to a tidy sum at the end of the year, let's say two, $3,000 a year, if that, or maybe even more, depending on how many times are the frequency of how many times you buy glue, how many times you buy tape, what you use on your head. I mean, shampoos, conditioners, leave-in conditioners, all that shit adds up. So for the new person looking to get into this world, look at those factors. If you can afford financially, with everything I just said, if you can't afford to take that time out of your day, your schedule, your week, your month, your year to do it, do it. If you can't, then don't even bother because nobody's going to come to your house and say, hey, can I install your hair system? That's just not the way it is. You've got to do it for yourself. If you're in a position to do so, I say do it. I do it because I love it and I will never turn back. And that's just it. I do not want to look back at myself being bald. Keep in mind, sometimes it comes out all messed up. I'll just throw a hat on it. Yeah, it happens. You get those days. But 
I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to give you guys a little insight on what having a hair system will mean to you. If you can't afford to do all those things that I just mentioned, go for it. Great. I'm happy for you and I will welcome you. I mean, you'll never look back once you've tried it and experienced it just the way I have. I just think that got me from watching the YouTube videos and everything that got me into wanting my hair back and how realistic it looked and how how many compliments and other people like, hey, it changes your look, it changes it for the better. So I hope you guys can understand this video is going on 10 minutes. I didn't want to make it too long, but I hope I've answered some questions or made you sway in one way or the other. If you can do it, go for it. Because it's been seven, seven odd years, maybe eight years since I wearing wearing a hat all the time to cover up my head i put on my hair system once a week and i absolutely love it by the time i'm done i get looks i get people telling me how great it is yeah that's wonderful but can you afford to do all that and do you want that if not then this isn't for you i just wanted to give you some of the facets involved in the hair system world so i hope you guys can appreciate that so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video thumb it up if you didn't thumb it down it's a free country thank you to love vivid for sponsoring today's video as i said love vivid these are the systems that i buy i buy them because i love the way they look the one i'm wearing right now is a love vivid louis and they have the, those uh new skins the bio skins that are dull it helps it's not the i still have to use the uh the blurrer the uh what is that the photo finish stuff but after i do that it's completely gone as you guys can see the shine is completely gone i wear the louis there's the euros and they have that bio skin uh poly that they use so thank you to love vivid for sponsoring today and that's going to do it for me guys if you enjoyed it like i said all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next one Later, guys.